I'd like to call the City Council meeting of June 10th, 2024 to order. Roll call, please. Alderman Anderson. Here. Alderman Cameron. Here. Alderman Morgan Adams. Here. Alderman Dash. Here. Alderman Dolick. Here. Please stand for the pledge. What do we do? Here's the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, approval of minutes. Um, we have the May 13th, 2024 minutes and the executive session minutes of May 13th. Also, we need a motion to, an omnibus motion to approve the minutes. So move, Morgan Adams. Second, Anderson. We have a motion and a second. Any questions? Roll call, please. Alderman Morgan Adams. Aye. Alderman Dolick. Aye. Alderman Dash. Aye. Alderman Anderson. Aye. Alderman Cameron. Aye. Motion passes. Uh, presentations, we have the Police Fire Commission annual report to the City Council presented by Chairperson Sharon Hoffman. Good evening. Good evening. I hope, Mayor Levison, I hope this report finds you and the entire City Council as we reflect on the past year's endeavors. I'm pleased to report that the overview of the achievements and the development of the Prospect Heights Police Commission. Commissioners Joseph Fiorito and Hyman Reedman have assisted me in preparing this annual report for the city. The most recent meeting of the commission convened on May 13th marked a significant milestone as it was held in person. This, this last year they were all in person, which was amazing because I think the year before we were like half and half, so we, there, it, it's, it's amazing what the, the changes. It was held in first reaffirming our commitment to effective communication and collaboration. Throughout the year, we convened a total of 14 meetings, including six in special session <coughs> and eight regular meetings. This transition to predominantly in-person gatherings while embracing virtual platforms when necessary underscores our adaptability and dedication to maintaining operational efficiency. Despite our town's most modest geographical size, our department exhibited remarkable activity, responding to a total of 12,533 calls service for service during the specified period, with an average of 1,046 monthly service calls, equating to 35 calls per day. Our officers timelessly safeguarded the community, ensuring the safety and well-being of our residents. I'm particularly proud to acknowledge the invaluable contributions of our full-time social worker, Rosangela Maldonado, who provided direct support to 527 families during this period. Her compassionate assistance, including facilitating 42 orders of protection documents, exemplifies our commitment to addressing sensitive domestic matters within our community. In response to evolving legislative mandates, particularly the adjustments to the Public Safety Act revisions on September 18, 2023. Our department has been proactive in ensuring compliance while upholding public safety standards. Through, through collaborative efforts with our criminal justice partners, we have navigated these changes adaptly and striving to optimize the balance between legal requirements and community welfare. Moreover, recognizing the significance of mental health services in the crisis intervention, we remain steadfast in enhancing our training initiatives and fostering partnerships with the community organizations, initiatives such as the implementation of body cameras, policies, and engagement in community service events demonstrate our unwavering dedication to transparency, accountability, and community outreach. I am pleased to announce that despite operational challenges, our staffing positions have exhibited stability with strategic promotions and seamless transitions. <coughs> Notably, Corporal Pardeep Thiel's promotion to the rank of Sergeant and the appointment of Corporal Michael Coglanese, Tyler Farina, and Barrett Lehrer 
exemplify our commitment to recognizing and nurturing talents with our, within our ranks. As we endeavor to maintain optimal, optimal staffing levels, we have embarked on an extensive recruitment process, leveraging new avenues <coughs> to attract more qualified candidates. Currently, we are in the process of interviewing 28 prospective officers, ensuring a rigorous selection process to uphold the integrity and professionalism of our department. This past weekend, we did two days of interviewing uh, to hopefully come up with a list uh, so that we can be prepared for when we're needing to uh, hire on more officers. As we endeavor to, oh, I can't, I think I'm, uh, in conclusion, I extend my sincere appreciation to our dedicated staff and community partners for our, their unwavering support and collaboration. Together we may remain steadfast in our commitment to ensuring the safety, security, and well-being of the residents of Prospect Heights. Thank you for your continued trust and partnership. Warm regards, Sharon Hoffman, Joseph Fiorito, uh, Hyman Reitman, the Police and Fire Commissions for the City of Prospect Heights. Is there any questions? Any questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appointments, confirmations, and proclamations. Um, we have the reappointment of Scott Sayward to the Chicago Executive Airport Board of Directors. Scott, you want to come up? Sure. Scott, uh, Scott's term is ended or is ending, and um, is asked if uh, he sent a letter of asking if he if he could be re-extended. I said I don't think you have to send the letter, but he did anyway, and he's here tonight. If you have any questions for him. Um, before we appoint him, reappoint him. That's, that's a good intro. Thank you, uh, Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I appreciate the council and the staff and representing the people of Prospect Heights. Um, it's a very exciting time at the airport, as you all know. It's its own separate entity, and it's to me it's a treasure to be a part of it because we have to run it like a business because we really don't have any tax dollars come in. It just has to be run that way. So. I really enjoy that part of it, and uh, I appreciate um, your smiles and understanding. And also, um, again, we're always a resource. If you ever need us, we're available. So, and if there's any questions, I'm here for that. Any questions? No. Can I can I get a motion to reappoint Scott Saylor to the Chicago Executive Airport Board of Directors? So moved. Second, we have a, a the first. whole place wants you to stay. <laughs> uh, we have a first and a second. Roll call, please. Alderman Cameron. Aye. Alderman Anderson. Aye. Alderman Dash. Aye. Alderman Dolick. Aye. Alderman Morgan Adams. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so you can't leave us now. <laughs> Uh, public comment on uh, agenda matters. Do we have anybody? Anybody turning a request? No? No, not okay. at this time. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, so we have the consent agenda. Um, unless there's any controversy with these two, I, I would look for a motion to approve the consent agenda, which is. Um, Item A, R2422, staff memo and resolution approving the Roscoeyak subdivision, 201 West Kenilworth. And item B, R2423, a staff memo and resolution appointing director and alternate for the Solid Waste Agency of Northern Cook County. Look for a motion to approve the, those two items. So moved. Second, Cameron. We have a motion and a second. Any questions? Yeah, I just have a question. Um, you know, down further down under old business, there's a staff memo and uh, ordinance approving the amendment uh, to the agreement establishing the Solid Waste Agency as a municipal joint action agency. So my question is, um, the um, the resolution appointing the director and al alternate uh, for that that's is that the same or is this is the municipal joint action agency different? They're different. Okay. Um, the uh, directors is something that we do every two years. It's, it's a matter of um, uh, maintaining our representation. The item, the ordinance is that would, would allow us, should we so choose, to uh, add other directors. Okay. Uh, 
Um, but we're, we're a small organization. I'll, I'll cover these meetings. I'm not going to stick it to Mark or Peter or somebody else. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? We have a motion and a second. Can I get a roll call, please? Alderman Dolick. Aye. Alderman Dash. Aye. Alderman Morgan Adams. Aye. Alderman Cameron. Aye. Alderman Anderson. Motion passes. Old business. This is a tabled item from May 13th. <coughs> um, it's resolution R2419, staff memo and resolution approving bid submission from J and K Painting for Police Department Station remodeling and painting not to exceed thirty thousand five hundred dollars. Need a motion to approve. So moved. Second, Cameron. We have a motion and a second. Are there any questions? Hearing none, roll call, please. Alderman Morgan Adams. Aye. Alderman Dolick. Aye. Alderman Dash. Aye. Alderman Anderson. Aye. Alderman Cameron. Aye. Motion passes. New business. Item A, requested waiver of first reading for ordinance 02414, staff memo and ordinance granting certain variations to create a buildable lot at 309 East Palatine Road, Prosper Heights. This is the first reading and this is a request to waive first reading. So we need a motion to approve. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions? Hearing none, roll call, please. <clears throat> Alderman Cameron. Aye. Alderman Anderson. Aye. Alderman Dash. Aye. Alderman Dolick. Aye. Alderman Morgan Adams. Aye. Motion passes. So item B is the uh, second reading. So item B is the second reading of ordinance 02414, a staff memo and ordinance granting certain variations to create a buildable lot at 309 East Palatine Road, Prosper Heights. This is the second reading. Need a motion to approve? So moved, Anderson. Second. second, Cameron. We have a motion and a second. Any questions? Hearing none, roll call, please. Alderman Morgan Adams? Aye. Alderman Dolick? Aye. Alderman Dash? Aye. Alderman Anderson? Aye. Alderman Cameron? Aye. Motion passes. I think you guys are here for that? Okay, good. We can call Dan <laughs> yeah, we'll call that. tomorrow. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, item C, request waiver of first reading um, for ordinance 02415, staff memo and ordinance approving amendments to the agreement establishing the Solid Waste Agency of Northern Cook County as a municipal joint action agency and to the bylaws of the Solid Waste Agency of Northern Cook County. This is a first reading, no action. Oh, there is action. We, we're looking for a waiver of this first reading. So we need a motion to waive the first reading. So move, Morgan Adams. Second, Cameron. We have a motion and a second. Any questions? Sorry. Hearing none, roll call, please. Alderman Anderson. Aye. Alderman Cameron. Aye. Alderman Morgan Adams. Aye. Alderman Dash. Aye. Alderman Dolick. Aye. Motion passes. Item D. It is the second reading for Ordinance 02415, Staff Memo and Ordinance Approving Amendments to the Agreement Establishing the Solid Waste Agency of Northern Cook County as a Municipal Joint Action Agency and to the bylaws of the Solid Waste Agency of Northern Cook County. And a motion to approve. So moved, Morgan Adams. Second. second, Anderson. We have a motion and a second. Questions? Hearing none, roll call please. Alderman Dolick? Aye. Alderman Dash? Aye. Alderman Morgan Adams? Aye. Alderman Cameron? Aye. Alderman Anderson? Aye. Motion passes. Item E is a first reading, not no waiver, just a first reading for Ordinance 02416, a staff memo and ordinance approving planned unit development amendments and certain variations for the property commonly known as Prospect Crossing Shopping Center at 1217 through 1297 North Rand Road, Prosper Heights. Again, this is a first reading. Um, if anybody has any questions about this or comments, they can call next week. You could ask now too, but um, it'll be on our next meeting for approval. So 
So any questions? Um, so so this there? is this is for the corner. This is for Manny, right? Yes. So this is this is the corner um, on the uh, frontage along Rand Road. Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure I have that straight. Um, okay. Thank you. Mayor Lovings. Sure. May I? The last two years during the strategic planning sessions, we've talked about where future potential redevelopment or growth could happen. And staff had identified the, that territory as a possible outlot uh, development area. And in speaking with Mr. Rafidia and his future plans for the shopping center and looking at what we were doing, he had engaged the help from his architect in uh, Wad A. They've looked at the site. They agreed with the concept, uh, put together a very good amendment packet for the PUD amendments which were presented. Um, the recommendation was to approve the PUD amendment adding drive-throughs because he has a list of pre-approved uses. Once that was done and he could have the uses, then we they did a plan of subdivision creating the two outlots for future redevelopment. Um, asked for a parking variation, which uh, was minor, about 42 spaces total, because he will be adding some parking on the grass area on the north end by Willow. And then he did request additional secondary wall signage along the Palatine frontage for whatever use. The PZBA recommended 5-0 on all of those accounts. And then they also did a couple conditions that when an actual end user, we would get uh, confirmed traffic and traffic flow patterns for inside the lot. Also architectural renderings to show how the signage were used um, to go forward. So right now there's no confirmed end user. This is to uh, assist him in his efforts to find an end user. And both Mr. Rafidia and his uh, um, architect Waji is here tonight if there are any questions. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So the new signs are gonna be on the buildings? Yes. Thanks. And the elevations of the buildings won't be too high to block to, um, the um, grocery store either though, right? You'll, you'll see everything the same. Yeah, the, uh, the only uh, to south to start in South Barrington, Illinois. Uh, the uh, only hiccup we may have with Tony was the uh, five parking spaces to 1,000 square feet, and that's why uh, we end up adding uh, 76 parking spots on the green. Uh, the second uh, condition not to block their marquee sign, it won't be, be blocked because their marquee sign is to the south of the building. So uh, when we get the approval from the village, we're gonna send them, actually not a request to Tony, we're just gonna send them um, announcement that this is what we're doing. Because at that point, we met the requirement, the parking requirement, and we are not parking their sign. Okay. Okay. And you're building more parking for the high school then, that's great. <laughs> I'm sorry? I said, yeah, and you're, and you're building more parking for the high school, that's great. <laughs> well, we'll see how that works. That was, that's, 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 sar that's sarcasm. <laughs> I, mean, I know, I, I, fe I feel well, for you it's having been to- 25 years of uh, yeah. non nonstop uh, back and forth arguments with the families and everybody, but you know. We're working it. Yeah. We're working it's, it out. I know. It's a tough situation. It's not easy. But yeah, the parking will be right there for them. It's <laughs> 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 closer, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And anyone else? All right, thank you. Yeah. So that'll be at our next um, meeting, on our next meeting's agenda for approval. Um, 10 staff elected, staff and elected officials and commission reports. I'll look to my left for elected officials. Uh, there's just a reminder that there's a golf outing with the Greater Wheeling Area Chamber this Friday. Um, so anyone who'd like to sign up last minute, please contact the chamber. That would, would be great. We could Thank use you. some more golfers. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> and speaking of golf, oh. <laughs> oh. turns out that we are so close in the same dates. Yep. The um, SAF Dollars for Scholars 214, their golf outing is at Old Orchard Country Club on the 24th of June on a Monday following. Um, I have great news, we gave out 14 $4,000 scholarships uh, just, nice. a, just a couple of Fridays ago. And Patrick was kind enough to come and videotape. We had a gr fantastic turnout, and the students could not have been more thrilled, as their families were as well. Great. So. Thank you. Anybody on the left? Uh, on my right? Sorry, my other left. No? Okay. Yeah. Uh, staff on my right? Go ahead, first. Um, real quick, um, to bring everybody up to speed, um, we have published an announcement. The Zoning Board of Appeals will be um, having a public hearing on the text amendments for the proposed chicken ordinance on June 26th. Um, the full application and draft text will be ready for public viewing on Wednesday, which is the date that it has to be available to the public. Um, so just so everybody knows, it has gone out in the e-news, so nobody can say it hasn't been published, and <laughs> it is gonna be posted in the um, journal and topics and the legal notices on Wednesday. When you had the, um, the town hall meetings, I'll call it, did you have enough space in this room to accommodate everybody? For the first meeting in, yes, the answer to both of them was yes, but the very first one was more full than the second one. Okay. So I'm, I think we should be in good shape. However, I have uh, heard and seen that there is some a scuttlebutt on the um, social media that people should come here to support chickens. Yeah, I'm just curious if one. So it, the, the word's already out there. For a bigger crowd that night. We're gonna plan for a bigger crowd. Um, we'll ask for arrangements. Um, if it gets too big, we may have to postpone and reschedule and find a bigger location. But right now we're planning to go forward with here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mark? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, just a construction update. The Wolf Road sidewalk project you know, we were all excited, everything was starting off, and then it kind of hit a delay. Uh, there was some paperwork that needed to be put through uh, with our contractor, with our engineer, and IDOT, and it took a little longer than expected to, uh, to get all figured out. The good thing is, this week, um, more dirt is gonna start getting moved over there. They've made it through the final steps with the paperwork. Uh, pipes were starting to be delivered today. Uh, there's gonna start doing some excavations to start doing the stormwater pipes and we're gonna see activity there. Um, so we're, we're on the right page. Um, something that we've seen over there though is uh, as soon as the barricades started going up in, in activity about four weeks ago, uh, a few of the residents along there stopped mowing their front yard area where the project is gonna be going. So our resident engineers have been uh, starting to talk to the residents over there about what their responsibilities are still current for that area once the sidewalk is done, what they're gonna be responsible for. So it's just getting everybody on the same page. Um, a problem that we discovered there is because of the delay in the project actually breaking ground after barricades were put, um, we believe some of the residents thought that they were kind of hands off with that property. Um, even though it's still their front yard, it might be the right of way, but as in every property, you know, you're responsible for the right of way out to the edge of the road. So. That's moving along, but if you see activity and you're wondering what was happening and why nothing seems to be going on, that was the delay. And um, I'm glad to report that we're moving forward now. Um, and everything else, there's a lot of pieces of the puzzle. And uh, even with the railway, the road, IDOT, everything seems to be moving forward in the right steps. Just, it's not a quick process. Um, I talked to one resident, they said, I could have put a sidewalk in in three days. Um, obviously, it takes longer than that. Um, so it's, it, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the background that's not visible. Um, we're still working it. And um, the only thing else to add is, uh, Peter's got a few things, but it's a busy summer. Um, we've had some great events already this year. Um, my favorite is still the 4th of July parade, which will be on Saturday. So. More to follow, check your e-news. 
That's it, Mr. Mayor, sorry. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mark. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor and City Council. Uh, I just wanna make sure everyone's aware, uh, give you a reminder and invite you to come out. Uh, we do have our annual shredding event this Saturday, uh, June 15th. It's at the Metro Station from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Uh, don't worry, you don't have to get there early. Uh, if you get there early, you end up waiting for 40 minutes or so. Uh, come right at 12 and I swear you will be out in 10 minutes. Uh, that's how quick we are. Uh, we've got a great staff of public works helping us and the, the police volunteers do an excellent job uh, of uh, marshalling in and out the, the vehicles. So please, if you have any sensitive documents that need to be shredded, please stop by the Metro Station on Saturday. Uh, from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. See you there. Thank you. Thank you. And then uh, parade <laughs> registration. Uh, correct. Uh, the parade registration uh, is through our new uh, deputy clerk, um, Lloyd Austin. Uh, if you contact City Hall, uh, you will be directed to Lloyd, or uh, you can uh, email him, find his information on our website. We will also have uh, information uh, on our website uh, on how to apply for the web for uh, the parade itself. Okay, thank you. And coming to the E News too, along with chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Chief. The uh, only thing I have is I have inside information that uh, Santa Claus might be in our parade. <laughs> Rumors. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Anybody else? Did I miss anybody? Okay. Approval of warrants. Okay. Uh, our expenditures total amounted to $214,070.63. We also had wire payments on May 31st, 2024. There was a payroll in the amount of $178,773.84. Then we had debt service payments, series 2010, 2013, 2018, and 2020 in the amount of $90,087.50, bringing the total warrant amount to $482,900. $39.97 for council's approval, please. Okay, we need a motion to approve. So moved, Anderson. Second, Cameron. We have a motion and a second. Yes. Roll call, please. Alderman Morgan Adams. Aye. Alderman Dolick. Aye. Alderman Dash. Aye. Alderman Anderson. Aye. Alderman Cameron. Aye. Motion passes. Uh, do we have any public comments on non-agenda matters? Mm -hmm. No, anybody here to speak? Yeah. No? Okay. Oh. Um, I'd like to say something. Oh yeah, come on up to the microphone. Go ahead. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, and good evening, everyone else. Uh, did you guys speak on the painting of the Prospect Heights Police Department? Yes. Yes, we did. Yeah, I'm the paint contractor for that. And I oh. know there was um, some question uh, that was brought up, um, false allegations made, slander made my way, and I'm here to clear the name of myself and my company as well. Um, I don't know if you guys seen the movie Big Fat Greek Wedding. Greeks have a tendency to name their relatives the same name. So my name is kind of unique, Demetrius Kokosoulis, but there's five Demetrius Kokosoulis who's in <laughs> the Chicagoland area. Okay, and my name is spelled very distinctly from the other ones. I have an I in the middle of Coxulis, and I have three I's in Demetrius. Um, so I am not uh, affiliated with uh, BP&T Construction. I know who is, it's a different individual. For example, if you could look at my background, I lived in Texas and currently in Park Ridge. That person lived in Arlington Heights, I think currently, currently uh, Mount Prosper. Uh, he is a year uh, older than me. It's a complete different individual. Greeks tend to be either in the restaurant business or the painting business. Right. So it's not unfamiliar that, uh, well, thank God, uh, there's only two Demetrius Kokosoulis' painting in Chicago. There's another one painting in New York, um, but we are different uh, people and different entities. And if you look at my, uh, my company's work history, you'll see that I'm highly recommended. Well, so and we approve, we approve your bid. Yep. Yeah, we already did. 
<laughs> but, but thank you for coming yeah. because it, there was a challenge. Right. And the best way is for you to be in person to address that. So it's, mm -hmm. it's greatly appreciated. Nice. Yeah, that's you're, why I'm here. You were you were coming from football practice. Uh, yeah, I was. <laughs> rest over here. We, yeah. we, we thank you for yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you bet. Okay. Uh, we do not have an executive session and no action on it. Therefore, therefore, I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Cameron. We have, a, we have a motion. Anybody want a second? Second, Anderson. And a second. Roll call, please. Alderman Anderson. Aye. Alderman Cameron. Aye. Alderman Morgan Adams. Aye. Alderman Dash. Aye. Alderman Dolick. Aye. Motion passes. We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.